What's going on guys, my name is Simple Hump Gamer and today I have another tutorial for you guys. This is the first logic tutorial for my channel, so I hope you guys who are looking for help on logic are satisfied now. The logic we'll be learning about today is rather basic. The last thing I would like to do is start you guys off with highly advanced logic and have you guys lost for the entire time. So we are starting off with an in and out microchip, which is better than you think is the one that you might be used to. So without further ado, let's get started. To start off, I'm going to show you a small and simple platforming motive that requires this chip. If we go through this gameplay method like we would in play mode, you can see that everything is working perfectly fine and nothing has to be edited at all. Until you reach the bounce pads, at which point you shoot yourself into the ceiling, cracking your skull and losing 20% of your brain cells. What we're going to do is place a microchip on this strip of ceiling, forward slash floor, forward slash no one gives a shit. On the circuit board of this microchip, you're going to need a few things to start off. First things first, you're going to need a player sensor, a knot gate, and obviously, two in and out movers. Why two in and out movers? How about you not ask questions right now and let me teach you, young grasshopper? Have one of the in and out movers set to move to the back or the middle. This will make sure that it can actually open. Now, set the other one to be moved to the front. This indicates that it'll be closed when it's activated. Now, you must attach the player sensor to the knot gate and to the closing in and out mover and have the knot gate attached to the opening one. Fastest video ever, right? Except you know we're not done yet. There's still an issue that we need to fix. For example, let's say you walk in front of an open door in Lobby Planet 2. Then you trigger it to be closed while you are in front of it. Because logic loves sack people, it'll remain open because you are in the way. However, when you move away from in front of the door while it's supposed to be closed, it stays open. This is because of the way logic is set up. There is a way we can fix this problem. Simply, we can copy the knot gate and place it somewhere else on the circuit board. Then wire it to itself, creating an extremely fast pulse that, if done properly, can cause epilepsy. Now, you don't want to hook it up to two in and out movers, because then nothing will work and everything will go to shit. What we do is pull out two AND gates and place on the circuit board, right beside the in and out movers. We wire the AND gates to the in and out movers that's right beside it. Then we wire the pulsing knot gate to both and kids. Once that's done, we can safely wire the player sensor to an AND gate and attach the NOT gate down in the PEACE region over to the other AND gate. And if you see what I'm doing here, I for some reason I have some extra footage of me looking like a tranny. Okay, look. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why it's there. Sorry, mom. But yeah, at the end of it all, this chip allows you to go through very smoothly with no problems. But it's best to keep the player sensor outside of the chip because you may want to have a different sensor open the door. Anyways, that's the tutorial. Hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to give the video a like. Give it a favorite. Subscribe for more videos in the future. Check out one of the other two videos on the screen if you haven't seen them yet. Catch you all next time. Game is out of here, motherfucker.